Hi, my name's Linda, and this is my Matt Pilates class that's going to focus on your glutes. Hi, my name's Linda Magid, and I am the owner of Pilates for Real Bodies, an online Matt Pilates studio. And in this video, we are going to focus on strengthening your booty. But before we do that, please subscribe to my channel so that you will know every time I drop a new video that's going to help you get fit or tell you more about the amazing format Pilates. In this video, we are going to focus on glute exercises, but please know that these are not the only glute exercises that Matt Pilates provides. This is just a small portion of those. Also, it's designed a little bit more for beginners, so just know that you can always do more of the exercises or you can use these to add into whatever booty exercises that you are doing. And if you're starting from scratch, then please watch my beginner mat Pilates videos right here on YouTube, or you can sign up for my udemy.com mat Pilates beginner program. It's about seven sessions and you can find the link in the description of this video. Enjoy the class. Pull the core in, do scoop and imprint, breathe in. Bring the knees up to tabletop. And opening up at the hip, drop the toe. One more time. And bring the feet down and relax. Bring the hips up. Breathe in and roll it down. Breathe in. Take it up. Hold it here. Breathe in and roll it down. Two more times. Take it up. Breathe in. Last one. Breathe in. And roll it down. Bring the knees in. Rock it side to side. Breathe in. Come to the place you want to breathe at. Be at on the breath out. And breathe in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Now, as you're doing this, don't feel you have to breathe really hard. The breathing is supposed to help with the counting and help with the pacing. So you don't have to breathe like you're trying to blow out candles. Lift up with those collarbones towards your legs. Bring that head forward. Three more. One more. And sit up. So we're thinking about squeezing the glute. What I want you to think about the hip reaching to the ceiling. No matter how high it is, it needs to stay that high the whole time. Heads at your sides. Breathe in, breathe out, lift up. Wherever you're at, you wanna stay at that, that height the whole time. Take the leg up, take the leg down. Three, two, and one. Take the leg up to the air, take the foot down. And drop the leg, three, breathing. Take the foot down, take the leg up. You're breathing out because that's the hard part when we're pressing into the floor to press that hip up toward that ceiling halfway through. All right, one more each side. So 
okay to use your arms to help you. But keep it in your booty too. Three, two, one. Slowly roll it down. Knees in. Coming over onto our belly for single leg kick. Here we're thinking about our hips in a different way. We want to keep them connected with the mat. When you lift the leg, you're not lifting up the booty, which means the hips. So as you kick, you're pressing your pelvis into the floor. Breathe in, breathe out, kick, 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 kick. Keep those hips down, squeezing that booty. One more. Last one. All right. And sit it back for a stretch in your low back. Coming forward for breaststroke. Hands under your shoulders, elbows are down. Upper back is already working. Breathe in, breathe out and lift. Reach it forward, bring the arms back. Squeezing that back side to help you lift. Feeling the work under your arms, down into your back. Let's do one more, creating resistance as we pull. And then take it forward, breathe in. Two more times. Pull that core in away from the floor and sit back. By pulling your core away from the floor, that's gonna help you with tightening up your back muscles. And heel kicks, clicks. Feet are open, head is down. Upper body should be as relaxed as possible. Prepare the lower body, breathe in, lift the leg. Flex and click. One, two, three. Lift and down and take them up. Click. One, two, three. Open. Now, lift up the legs. Click three times. On the here, can you lift a little higher and take it down? Lift it up. Click. One, two, three. Lift a little higher. Let's do one more. And lift. Don't bend the knees. One, two, three. Lift a little higher and take it down. Whew. Tighten up the core, extend the legs, have that bottom leg is also active. Lift the leg off the floor, take it forward. Two kicks, two kicks back, two kicks forward, two kicks back. What's happening with those hips? Are you working as hard as you can to keep them still? I have my hand in front of me on this side, helping me to keep them still, but I'm, my core is absolutely still working. Bring the legs together. Now keep, find your place here. Hips on top of each other. Now lift the leg, then take the foot down. Lift, you should feel it in a different place. If you're sitting back here, you're gonna feel it in the top of the leg. Here we're feeling it on the outside and right into that glute, last one. Now, we're not moving an inch in our hips. Point the toe back. Everything is staying in exactly the same position. Now we're circling. And then other direction, still right on top of each other. And then take the feet together. We're gonna do the same idea, keep the hips 
without moving. Two, one, other way. Three, two, and one. And relax. So I'm still sitting back a little bit. So I'm going to come forward, lift my leg, kick, 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 kick. So I'm thinking about right now what's happening. Are they staying stacked? This is an important part of Pilates, actually being able to experience your body in space without a mirror. All right, feet together. So watch those hips, get them in line before you start. Take them up and take them down. Now, obviously, our hips never going to move ever. No, because, you know, it's a body. But that's our challenge. Two more. Up, keep those hips aligned right on top of each other. Don't fall backwards. All right, here we are. Perfectly positioned. Point the toe. Take the leg back without moving those hips even an inch and roll and circle. Other direction. Getting ready for our three bigger circles. And three, two, and one. Other way. Three, two, and one. And relax. You just want to make sure that that hip is staying over that knee through the whole exercise. Again, if you need to prop yourself up on something, go ahead and do that, like a little stool or a pillow is going to be a little soft, something that's solid, all right? And I actually have my hand a little bit forward, okay? So we're going to do five leg lifts. Ready? And five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up and circle. Five, four, three, two, one. Other way. Five, four, three, two, one. One, and I'll bicycle. Three, this is where we're going to want to sit back. Two, but I'm trying to not sit back into that hip. One, and take it back. Three, right here on that forward movement. Oh, we're just doing three. I counted it like we're doing more. Last one. And come up. Try to balance your way up and change. All right. So when you take that leg forward on that bicycle, you might want to like sit back into that hip, but I'm asking you not to do that. I'm asking you to try to stay forward. It means you may not be able to bring that leg as far. And that's okay. Five leg lifts. Five, four, three, two, one, and circle. Five, four, three, Two, one, back the other way. Woo! I really feel it in those hip flexors. And bicycle. Keep the leg the same height the whole time. It doesn't have to be parallel with the floor. It just needs to stay the same height. And three, two, one. Take the leg out. Arm up. <sighs> Kicks. Still thinking about our hips. This time, when we bring our hip feet up toward our booty, we're trying not to lift the booty up, meaning the hips come off the floor. Okay? Oh, arms back here. Head is turned to one side. And kick three times. Three, two, one. Extend the arms. Take it down. Three, two, one. Extend. Squeeze the butt. That is how you're going to keep those hips down.
and finish, and then sit back. Into swan, we've got a few more to go. And make believe they're our hardest ones. Okay, shoulders down, elbows are down. Oh, feet are open. So our body's prepared. Breathe in. Breathe out, lift up as high as you can, and then push. So full extension in that spine. Breathe in. Breathe out and lift. So you're lifting your head, but you're not lifting your nose to the ceiling. Because even when we do regular swan, we're not lifting our nose up so high that we're crushing our spine and our neck. All right, this is the last one. And then we're going to rock it. Take it up. Get those legs ready. And take it forward. And take it back. Three is as many as I can do. Hips are coming up as high as we can. This is where you want to focus. Let's push those hips up as high as we can and get as strong as we can on our backside. Breathe in. Breathe out, lift. Squeeze the booty, push up, head is down. Where are we pushing? Pushing with our backside and with our arms, take it down. And breathe in, breathe out, take it up. So we tend to think that this is all in the booty, but there's a lot of arms happening. Breathe in, press up. Remember, it's an upside down plank, so we're pressing with our hands and lifting with our back as well as our booty and our hamstrings. Breathe in. Last time, take it up. And relax. 